Good morning. Well, that was our little cabin in the rocks uh, that we slept in last night. Nice little place. Lots of really cool rock formations here. Today we're off uh, towards South Africa. This is our last day of riding in Namibia. Not too far down the road uh, from the main route, uh, we'll be taking a little detour to uh, some natural hot springs that are here in this part of Namibia, a place called Ice Ice. Oh, you can feel the heat. Here we are in Ice Ice, which is a natural hot springs area. And the pool here is actually getting its uh, two week, every two week maintenance. They actually drain it and scrub it down like they're doing. So uh, we're not gonna be soaking our feet in any hot pool. Uh, we're just gonna likely saddle up in a few minutes and head on back down the road. The wet ride down here was just spectacular and uh, looking forward to more of the uh, more of this type of uh, scenery. So all the uh, green crop over there um, beyond the green fence is grapes, eating grapes. And beyond that is the Orange River. That is the boundary uh, separating Namibia and South Africa. This shanty town slash camp uh, is where all the field workers uh, stay. Once they get a contract, uh, they end up coming into these areas and they actually have to build their own little shack. It's kind of, it's just the way it is here. So here we are at the border and it's uh, goodbye Namibia, hello South Africa. This is the Orange River we're just about to cross over, which is the boundary between these two countries. Here's an example of some of the uh, extreme flood damage that uh, been ra has ravaged South Africa from the spring uh, rains here this year. There are many roads in this country that uh, have been affected by these uh, floods, including several uh, major highways uh, further south. Our final destination today was Okeep, South Africa, uh, and as it turns out, our hotel was uh, located 
right next to what was at one point in time the largest copper mine in the world.